this is my episode of things I wish I knew or didn't know when I started playing Melee. So without going too much into details, there is an essential technique that Sheik players will eventually learn called the Sammy Stall. And it basically just involves grabbing the ledge, letting go of it, and grabbing it again to kind of take, a, take advantage of the invincibility you get every time you touch the ledge. Well, there's an awesome YouTube channel called SSBM Tutorials that shows you exactly how to do this trick. I love the channel and their videos are awesome. There's a very dangerous piece of advice in this two minute video that will screw you over. You Listen carefully. Mix up into a double jump or an onstage Tell me the bad piece of advice. Time. And for now, it can throw up opponents' recoveries because it's rarely seen. Couple tips for this. Sometimes it's easier to ride up the wall to get the Sammy stalled by angling your control stick slightly towards the wall. And I would recommend trying to get a rhythm down rather than visually reacting to the correct spacing. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you. All right, did you guys catch that? Senzu, you are a very attentive viewer. Thank you. So this one piece of advice in this video screwed me over and screwed up my muscle memory for so long. And the video is amazing. They probably could have just cut that part out and it would have been an amazing video. But I'm probably not the only one who heard the writing the wall part and thought like, oh, I'll just try out the easier one first. And then when I feel the need to, I will do the not writing the wall one first. And I've lost so many games by choking on the Sammy Saul edge guard. I'm going to explain to you right now why this is such a dangerous piece of advice in an otherwise super good informative video. But basically, do not write the ledge. You should absolutely ignore this SSBM tutorial video because you will develop a really bad habit. Final destination, nice easy ledge and you go into the wall and you ride it up. And then you visually time when your opponent's going to get there. All fine and dandy, right? Here's the issue though. Go to another stage. The wall is different. So the timing is going to be different. And you even have to kind of adjust your timing based on the angle. That was kind of cool actually. You kind of need to memorize it for every kind of wall. And the worst part about it is that some of the walls are like totally different. And this one is a good example where like it is super easy to screw it up because you need to watch how Sheik is grabbing the ledge. Like I need to understand where Sheik is going to be and roll my stick accordingly. Yeah, like it's the timing is so inconsistent. And I would lose games and sets for like about a year. And it took me a while to unlearn it, but you could just go up and down. And the thing is, riding the wall is not easier. Because if you remove the visual cue to it, then it's really just holding up and down. But yeah, it, you could just use rhythm, and it's the same for each one. And I'm not doing great ones, because I am bad at live demos. And the video is pretty good. I really like it, except it had that last part that is completely screwed up. So that's all I really have to say. SSBM tutorial, that's a really good video, but if you're dumb like me, you're going to hear something like that and you are going to develop repetitions, like thousands of repetitions for a really bad habit and a dangerous way of doing something. It is a tiny criticism of a treasure chest of awesome videos and tutorials. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you're new to Melee, come check out my tournament every Thursday called Only Noobs. All those links are in the description below.